Okay, this is going to be another quick video on the next portion of our review, which is automation. Um, and what I mean by automation is the ability for the program to automatically raise or lower the volume of the track or automatically shift sound from the left to the right, which is that's called panning. Um, and you have the ability to do that on individual tracks as well as um, on a what's called the master track, which controls all of the individual tracks. Okay, so let's go back into this project that I just worked on in the uh, virtual instrument video. And the symbol for the automation is this little connect the dots thing here. Um, so if I click that, the default drop down is track volume. And so if I wanted my project to sort of fade in over time, let's say I want to fade in from measures one to four. If I drop these two pins, now I get a nice smooth fade in over time. And then let's say I want it to fade out. I can just drop that pin down there. But that will only apply to this first track. Okay. Let's say I want to do something similar to this track here. So now if I play these together, what you'll hear is a fade in and then a fade out. Okay, fairly smooth. Um, I just think maybe the fade in should be a little bit quicker. So again, you can drop as many pins as you want. You can go crazy with it, have it go up and down, whatever is going to enhance your project. But um, typically the fade in, fade out, uh, it's, a, it's a smooth way to introduce the beginning or the end of a recording, um, especially if you're trying to get to somewhere loud in the track. You don't wanna just have something loud come right in from the, from the beginning. Um, so that's automated track volume. Um, if I toggle over to track panning, now we have the option of keeping the track centered on the left and right speakers or headphones. Um, and if I drop pins, you know, every, every measure, then I can, you know, if I go up, that means I'm toggling right. If I go down, that means I'm toggling left right, left, right. So you could do something like that where the sound shifts, I'm gonna mute this, shifts from one side to the other. Or um, what I see some people do is they want one sound more on the right and then one sound more on the left. And you can have both sounds happening, but one is more on the left or one is more on the right. Okay, so don't forget the, the track panning is still, or the track volume automation is still applied even though you don't see both at the same time. In fact, I don't think there is a way to see both at the same time, I think you can only see either volume or panning. Um, and then the final thing I want to show you is the master automation. Okay. So you can automate the volume, but not panning. Okay. So let's say you want to start everything super high, but then the whole track fades down over time while these other tracks fade in and out. Now this sort of overrides and controls all of this all at once. Okay, so this is what this is what that sounds like. Oh, I don't want to record, I just want to play it. Okay, the master track works really well if you have a lot of individual tracks that need to be faded in at the same time. You know, if there's minor changes that you need, like if you need this middle section here to be louder, but then you still want to apply that master fade in, you know, you can keep these guys sort of leveled 
and use them to change things finer. Right? And that's automated panning and track volume.